Peggy 16. Hi, and welcome to the initial instruction of the Open Beta Test of Ruse. So where do you start when you want to play the game? Don't worry, Ruse is a very simple game to play, but yet we'll discover it's a very deep game as well. Please bear in mind that what you're going to see is just a fraction of the game, which also includes a huge single-play campaign, challenges, and many more multiplayer maps. The first point you're going to discover is its dimension. You fight over huge battle maps, but you can quickly move from point A to point B with the mouse wheel and keyboard arrows. As you zoom into the ground, you discover tactical opportunities such as cities or forests, which you can use to cover or hide your units. Ruse is a very open game. Use the production menu to access any kind of defensive structure, production facility, military units, or even research. With this, you have access to six different factions totaling 200 different units and structures. You can build your base anywhere on the map, as long as you have enough money. To earn money in the game, you have to capture a supply depot and protect the flow of your economy. But you can also harass the enemy supply line to prevent him from amassing too many resources. Engagement in progress. Ruse is a game of perception and deception. You see what the enemy is doing, but only partially, and this reality can be twisted. For instance, small and large ships represent light and heavy units, but some may be fake and some may be hidden. We give you 10 deception tools, called ruses, to alter this perception of reality in order to bluff and mislead your opponent. From the production menu, Select a ruse and place it on one of the strategic sectors on the map. Let me give you some tips before you start playing. In life, deception is everywhere. Poker, politics, business, and so it is in ruse. Always check what your opponent is doing. Never assume that what you see is true. In the game, you can verify your perception using reconnaissance and some ruses. Be mindful of the score in the game. At the end of the time limit, the player or team with the highest score is going to win the match. You earn a score by destroying enemy units. And you should maybe try to crush his most valuable units to get the most score in the game. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more advanced instructions.